Drug smuggling has been a huge global problem for many decades now. It has resulted in countless cartels, and many of them are no doubt deadly. They have been so successful that they have turned their leaders and most well-known members into billionaires. Many of these drug lords have kids, meaning that they can spoil them rotten with their endless supplies of blood money. Whatever insanely expensive and luxurious item you can think of, these kids own it. Hey guys, welcome back to The Crime Analyst. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell to never miss out on any of our latest uploads. Jesus Alfredo Guzman is the son of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Even though El Chapo is behind bars awaiting trial currently, he has been in and out of prison multiple times and is no stranger to escaping from jail. That's how dangerous he is. Moreover, Jesus is currently helping his brother Ivan run the cartel. Unfortunately, Jesus does not seem to have inherited his father's intelligence and flair for business. It seems that Jesus has really let being the son of a drug lord go to his head. Jesus Guzman is usually seen on Twitter bragging about his lifestyle and how he's basically a narco-billionaire. But on one occasion, Jesus foolishly revealed the location of a fugitive who was then caught by police. Ivan Archivaldo Guzman is one of the many sons of El Chapo. Named El Chapito, Ivan seems to be following in his father's footsteps. El Chapito has been spotted in the United States and Mexican border trying to smuggle various substances. The fact that he has already gained a nickname similar to his father proves that he is already a dangerously ambitious man who doesn't just plan to live off his father's money. Ivan actually wants to continue the family business, especially with his father currently behind bars. Judging by Ivan's social media, he clearly enjoys the lavish lifestyle by being the drug lord's son, as he is always showing off his many expensive cars, exotic pets, and massive bundles of cash. Melissa Plancarte is the daughter of Enrique Plancarte, who is a high-ranking leader of the Knights Templar Cartel and is one of Mexico's most infamous drug cartels. And long before his tenure there, Enrique was a top leader of La Familia Michoacana, leaving in 2010 to form the Knights Templar. After the Mexican Navy gunned down Enrique in 2014, Melissa admitted to being his daughter, which subsequently ruined her singing career. However, Melissa did not let that get her down as she decided to cash in on her father's legacy, so she is probably now even more affluent than Melissa would have been had she continued with her music. Cesar Guzman is yet another one of El Chapo's sons. El Chapo is Spanish for a shorty, however, do not let the drug lord's short stature fool you. As he led the Sinaloa cartel and made it one of the world's largest drug trafficking operations that is also present in over 50 countries. El Chapo has many kids, but he's made every one of them able to afford a lavish lifestyle due to all the money. Caesar has numerous expensive and fast cars such as Ferraris and Lamborghinis, which he no doubt loves to show off to other dangerous drug lords' sons. Caesar also has access to loads of cash and plenty of weapons. He even keeps exotic pets such as tigers. Sebastian Marroquin is the son of the famous drug lord Pablo Escobar. Everyone knows Pablo Escobar, Colombia's most infamous and successful drug lord. He is so famous and well-known that he has been depicted multiple times on both the big and small screen. When Escobar was killed, Sebastian claimed he would avenge his father's death. However, he never quite got around to doing that. Sebastian instead went to Argentina, then changed his name and decided to become an architect, which is a far cry from the family drug business that probably gave him lifelong financial stability. But it is still unsure how much of his father's money Sebastian managed to hold on to, as he reportedly managed to take only his father's watch with him to Argentina. Enrique Plancarte Jr. is the son of the drug lord Enrique Plancarte, who was the leader of the Knights Templar. Indeed, he did not leave his children penniless if their social media is anything to go by. Enrique Plancarte also loves to show off all the expensive items that he's able to buy with his father's money. He has chimpanzees, Ferraris, and many weapons with his initials carved into them. Only time will tell if Enrique Plancarte Jr. decides to follow in his father's footsteps and become Mexico's next drug lord. Manuela Escobar is the daughter of drug lord Pablo Escobar. 
Escobar made so much money that he could not spend it fast enough, causing 10% of Escobar's profits to be written off every year due to it getting damaged in storage by rats or by water. However, that 10% was nothing compared to the rest of Escobar's profits. This is why the drug lord really spoiled his children, Manuela Escobar in particular, who was always promised to be his only dearest daughter. Moreover, Manuela tried to hide her identity after fleeing to Argentina, but to no avail. Serafin Zambada is Ismael El Mayo Zambada's son. El Mayo is the leader of the Sinaloa cartel currently, who has even succeeded Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Anyone worthy of replacing the world-famous El Chapo is obviously quite dangerous themselves. Ismael is a wanted man currently, having been featured on America's Most Wanted with a $5 million reward offered for his capture. And his son Serafin clearly has a lot of power and wealth himself. He is married to another drug lord's daughter and is clearly starting to follow in his father's steps as the DEA arrested him for trafficking various drugs. Francine Lucas Sinclair is Harlem drug lord Frank Sinclair's daughter. Frank Sinclair led one of the biggest drug rings in the United States and was reportedly the very first person to break the monopoly of the Italian Mafia. The drug lord never used any middlemen. Instead, Sinclair bought heroin directly from his source in the Golden Triangle and then smuggled it himself back to America. Thanks to this, his daughter Francine was spoiled when growing up, never having to ask for anything and being given everything Francine could want and more. But her world came crashing down when she saw her father being arrested, as she genuinely had no idea her father made his money through drug smuggling. Naturally, this took Francine a long time to come to terms with, but she decided to write a book about the ordeal once she did. Joaquin Guzman Jr. is, you probably would have guessed, one of the many, many sons of El Chapo Guzman. Not only is Jr. named after his father, but Joaquin also seems keen to follow in his father's footsteps and be involved in the Sinaloa cartel. Until that day comes, he is more than happy to simply enjoy the lifestyle funded by his father's money. He is able to easily afford luxury cars, pet tigers, and various bejeweled guns just like his many brothers. El Chapo has probably reached Escobar's level of wealth, meaning that all his sons are able to live like true drug cartel royalty. Intimidation and fear will get you really far in the cartel world and set you up for life. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section down below what you think about today's video. If you liked this video and found it informative, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you do not want to miss out on any new future videos like these, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you are notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you have a great day today and we'll see you in the next video.